Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today we're still working on this side of the wall. Uh, we're not done yet. Uh, this is below my pegboard. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the rest of my videos, I will link them down below so you guys can check them out. Um, so today I was able to remove the smaller drawers that I had right here along this wall and I was able to replace them with three of these longer drawers from Michaels. I will link them down below just in case you're interested. Uh, for those of you ladies that are rearranging and that are organizing your craft rooms, best of luck to you guys. Uh, my best advice is um, do it sections at a time and baby steps because, you know, us crafters, we have lots of things, lots of goodies. But when it comes to rearranging and organizing, it's kind of nice because you can shop your own uh, craft room. You know, you have we have lots of things that we haven't touched, and it's nice to go through everything again. And it kind of makes you, um, it inspires you to use your items. Okay, so best of luck, ladies. Okay, so let me get back to this right here. Um, so I was able to empty one of these smaller drawers that were down here. I took uh, I took off all the uh, took out all these chipboards and uh, some of the paper pads that I keep in there. Um, this stuff right here from that drawer, uh, I like to have it here because it's within reach, and um, I can go in there and see what I have that I'm able to play with. Uh, some of the rest of my collections are in the three tier wall organizers that I've shown you before from Michaels. Um, my other collections, they're stored in my bolt, um, which someday I'll use. But I do go through them, you guys, and I organize and dust and all that stuff just so they don't get um, dusty and stuff. But, um, so anyways, all the smaller drawers that I have down here, they are going to go um, on top of these drawers. Okay, so I will show you that in a minute. Um, once I'm done, so let me just uh, go through this stuff and uh, put my drawers up here and let me show you how that looks like. Okay guys, so all drawers are up and uh, let me give you a closer look on what I did. I had to go purchase a couple more of these drawers, the top drawers, just to uh, fill up the wall space right here. But let me start by showing you uh, the corner right here. I was able to purchase another one of these paper organizers, so I did stack uh, stack them together. And they do hold some of my um, color cardstock for now, specialty paper, acetate, and all that stuff is on the top one. Um, I want to work on this. Um, I'm not really 100% satisfied with how it looks, so I will work on that later on. And on the bottom one, there's a chipboard and some paper collections, my mats, acetate sheets, um, a whole bunch of other stuff is down there. So I'm still working on that, but I really love how it looks. And um, up there, there's a uh, paper organizer that I did spray paint pink, and I really love how that looks. Um, I have showed you guys on my Instagram before, so... Um, uh, if you guys don't follow me there, I will link all my social media down below so you guys can follow me. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, uh, please do and um, hit that bell notification, okay? I got other videos coming up, so you guys don't want to miss those. Okay, so here are the bottom drawers right here. And these are the longer drawers from Michaels. Uh, I was able to fit three of those. And for now, I won't go through my drawers because, like I said, I want to do another video on that. But I was able to organize some of my paper collections in here. Uh, so that's what's, um, what, that's what's going to be on there, okay? So on the top part right here, I was able to fit um, six of these drawers. And uh, they fit really nice. So I really like how that looks. Very clean. And uh, I also need to, um, uh, what do you say, how do you say, um, fill in this areas right here. For now, I just have these, um, some of this stuff on here just to fill it in so it won't look as empty. Uh, these are my We Are Memory Keepers uh, paper organizers. I do keep uh, stickers 
and alphas on there in there for now and these are some of my wax uh, little uh, wax beads and like I said I want to fill this up with um, some 12 by 12 organizers in here and I will show you that in another video and here's another organizer I do keep some of my sticker books in there okay and uh, so yes this is how it turned out I'm really happy how it looks very nice and clean and I will also link all my other videos down below okay okay so let me go uh, through what I have on top right here these baskets are from Target um, they were on clearance for five dollars I was able to fit some of my dies on there uh, that's just a cute little basket that I um, a basket a bowl that I was uh, able to pick up from Tuesday morning and just some decorative stuff um, this paper organizer right here it holds my six by six paper pads um, and some of my six by eights on the back okay and then here's my Lynn Lynn Lily gun and this is just for decorative uh, it's a decorative piece for my craft room I do own another one which I really like um, and then this um, organizer right here is from Joann's I'll look for the link and post it down below in case you guys are interested it does hold um, all these little, um, what are these called, diamond dots that I use on my projects, my new bows. Uh, here's more 6x6 paper pads. 6x8s are in the back. And here are more dies. I really love these baskets. If you guys can find them on clearance at Target, I would suggest you guys pick them up. They hold a lot. Okay, you guys, so um, that is it for this video. Stay tuned for more videos, um, so don't forget to subscribe. Alright you guys, have a good day. Bye.